In this video, we will show you how to design a customized abutment with the crown. Like in any case, start your work by creating an order. A customized abutment is one of four types of abutments supported by tree shape dental system. Please select if you are going to manufacture a one piece abutment or two piece abutment. This type of restoration requires a coping or a crown design on top to fulfill the aesthetic requirements. When your scans are loaded, place annotation as instructed by the software. For implant cases, place annotations always on the buckle side on a verge of the gum. Then click Next. Once you have annotated the implant, it is necessary to specify the insertion direction. You cannot change the direction of the implant, but it is possible to change the insertion direction of a restoration that goes on top. Find the optimal insertion direction by positioning the scan in the design window from your occlusal view. When the desired position is found, click the Set Direction button to save its position and click Next to go further in the design process. Now, when you are in the Anatomy Pre-Design step, use the Smile Composer tools to position the future tooth and designate a right space for abutment design. In cases where you have a full arch scan, use Mirror tool to copy from the other quadrant. The final shape of future crown will be designed in further stages. Click Next when you are ready. Now, being in step called Abutment and sub-step Parametric, start designing your abutment. We recommend to work on a robotic abutment. The type of abutment can be changed under Settings. It is helpful to work on translucent models according to visible contour lines. Start with orange spheres to set the abutment edge on the required level according to the gum edge, for example, 1 mm subgingivally. The activated spheres show a grid which will help you to measure a distance. The size of grid can be set in the advanced settings. Point at orange sphere and scroll mouse wheel to change the shape of the emergence profile. Click on orange sphere and hold shift to move all in the same time. With the robotic abutment, there are also green dots subgingivally. This helps you to shape the emergence profile. These dots are activated when you point at them with the mouse cursor. Also, the grid is available. When the emergence profile and the margin line of the abutment is set, go to the top cap of the abutment. By using blue spheres, you can adjust height and angulation of abutment according to arrows. The abutment will turn red when going too low or too thin during the abutment design. Orange spheres help you to adjust edges of top cap while the pink ones influence the size and angulation of the shoulder. When your basic shaping is ready, use features available in the settings box. The Modify Margin Shape button changes the shape of a margin line between different geometrical shapes to match margin line shape to gingiva. Keep occlusal view when using this button and move the mouse cursor within the window between geometrical shapes to define margin line outline. Then, use the Snap Gingiva option to form the emergence profile automatically to the closest gum margin. The Draft Angle box allows you to set angulation of top cap walls and check lock 
to keep the angulation. Otherwise, angulation is prone to changes when modifying an abutment. In visual options, you can visualize insertion direction and implant direction as well as screw hole. Advanced options allow you to change the shape of the abutment in many ways. Adjust values for shoulder radius and top fillet radius to make them more round and easier for milling with less drill compensation. You can also set vertical offset to increase the distance between the implant and the abutment. It is here where you can set whole wall thickness and whole fillet. Add bevel on shoulder button allows you to add bevel and set its parameters. Edit Implant Models button lets you change the axis of the screw hole. Now, check abutment design with your crown and once your design is ready, click Next to have your design validated. Then click OK to enter Sculpt. Now you can use Sculpt Toolkit tools to finally adjust your design. But be careful to not create undercuts. It will result in problems later on. Click Next to enter the margin line substep. In this step, it's possible to adjust margin line for the crown on the abutment if necessary. Then click Next once again to get to die interface and its advanced settings where you can modify it if necessary. Click Preview to see your die interface design. When you click Next once again, you will enter Smile Composer. This step allows you to correct the anatomy design using sculpting tools and libraries. When done, click Next to get to Finalize step, where you have the possibility to make final adjustments to design of crown and assembly of abutment. In the assembly settings, you can activate screw hole as well as screw hole angulation. If you change angulation of the hole, you may want to add extra drill hole radius to keep enough space for screw. When finished, click Next to get to Save and Close. And that's it. Thank you for watching.